Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you my trading method that I use to make coins on Ultimate Team. There are many other methods out there, like um, uh, buying one player, focusing on one player and selling one. But I could never really do that as you know, you're only buying. You can only get one player maybe a day, and maybe get a grand profit. But that's not really um, reasonable. Do not buy gold packs as you'll very rarely unlikely ever make coins and you'll just waste your coins unless you're going to use your own money which I wouldn't really do that if I was you. But now down to my method. So you go to the so search auction and pick a formation, um, probably most of the, one, the popular ones like 433, 442, 41, 212 just so people are more likely to search for their formations and buy the players you're selling. Now you can put it to level gold and the maximum price you'll search is for a thousand coins. And all you're basically looking is for um, uh, rare players for a um, bit of a 650. Unless you know a player goes for more than that. Like Granero, I know I can sell him for 950, so that would make 150 coins profit, which is fine. You can make anything up to like 2000 coins profit doing it this way. You don't always have to do the rare ones, you can do the normal players as well, but they're more likely 350, good bid for them. And it all depends on what time of the day you're doing this as some more sometimes are gonna be more popular than others, of course. Which I know I can get this player for I can sell him for about one thousand four hundred, so that'd be a nice tidy profit if I sold or I got him for nine hundred. Which I think I do not get him for that. But if you buy a player for 650 coins, do not list them for 650 as you'll lose money because of the tax that EA does. You would have to at least put 700. Sometimes you'll get more lucky than other days, but just keep on going. As I've already made quite a few coins already, as you can see. And if there's a player you bid for in the auction, you don't want to, you you don't want to um, uh, keep on searching as you lose out, like I did on some of these players. But I know I can probably sell Melito for at least a thousand. 100 so which I got in for 850 which is a nice little profit there so um, uh, Garcia I can probably sell him for about a thousand coins maybe 950 which ain't a big profit but because you're doing it in bulk you're buying loads of players and selling them all, all together you'll see your coins go up a lot more quicker than just if you was buying one player as this the market is smaller if, you, if you're just going for one player Keen I can Keen I know I'll, I'll probably get 800 coins for him as he's a nice, quick, decent player. Richardson, which 
I got in for 850, once I can sell in for 1300, which makes for a decent little quiet profit. Which you'll see more players like that on the market. Oh, yeah, and you have to be careful for players that have no contracts because people tend not to buy players with no contracts as they would have to buy contracts, of course. Which you're basically buying the player for 150 coins dearer than you really want to. So, don't really do that. Here's some more players that I bought earlier. And a fish up but I have to make a tiny little profit out of him. Shane Long as well. C say not as much. Go on, fun, I could probably make it a little bit. Small in about four hundred. Four hundred as a guy though. Well, back. I'm starting for 1,500, which weren't too bad. K Hill as well, 1,400, I think. <coughs> if you get like Premier League players, you're more likely to sell them one for a bigger profit, as they're more popular. Same guys with Sp in the Spanish league and. Italian league, but not as much as the Premier League, of course. Let's see, I bought him for 650, sold for 750. CC 950. See, it's 1300. That's a nice little profit that was. Garcia, I sold him in for 950. Sold long for 950 as well. It's when you when you continue doing this, you'll realise who's um, in that thousand coin mark and who shouldn't be in there. And the players who shouldn't be in there. If you get them for under a thousand, you tend to make a bigger profit. Sometimes you can get players like Diego in there. I've had Paul Pogba, or whatever his name is. I bought him for under a thousand, which that was a good profit. I signed him for I think two thousand. It should just get to know the players and how much they go for. Charlie Adams 650, sell down for about 800, 850. This ain't that much bad of a bad profit. Oh, yeah, if you get players that don't sell, f like you've seen them sell for that, don't put low the price down, just sell them again relist them as they will go for that they might not go straight away but <laughs> might have to release them like three or four times more but if you've seen them go for it do it don't even want to make only 200 on a other way or 300 which ain't that bad You can probably get about 800, um, 100k plus in a week, which is quite good. I'll probably make about 15,000 a day, around 15, 20,000. That's because my trade pile is. I've only got 15 space in my trade pile, so I can only sell, of course, 15 players. But if you've got 30 or 40 trade pile space, you can easily make. K a day, 40k.
Oh man, though. Probably 50. Probably send about 4. 550, I reckon. I have him. My fail squad is quite a good player to trade with. There's Echo. Oh, I can't when you get in front of a thousand. Just make a little tidy profit. What? If I get enough, if I get enough views in this video, I, I show you, I can show you another method of tr trading, and I can show you more bargains that I get doing this method. As I do get some pretty good bargains trading like this. So that is it for today, see ya guys.